Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 5. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 1 of Book 5. But before we begin, I would like to define or express some definitions used by Euclid. Now, this is Euclid's exact definition, but I'm going to give a little more modern terminology. If we have a line AB and a line E, such that E fits into AB an integer number of times, then E is a part of AB and it measures AB. Also in this situation, AB is a multiple of E. Again, because E fits into AB a certain number of times, an integer number of times. So AB is a multiple of E. So we have three words here that are going to be used by Euclid throughout this book. It is part, measures, and multiple. So now that we know this, let's start with this proposition. So this proposition states that if I have AB and CD being an equal multiple of E and F. Now what does that mean when I say equal multiple? That means that if E fits into AB n times, then F will fit into CD the same number of times n. Or in other words, mathematically, it would look like this. So this is the starting position. So if we have that AB is an equal multiple of E as CD is to F, then the sum of AB and CD will be the same multiple of E and F. In other words, AB plus CD will also be N times E plus F. So let's prove this. So we're starting with an example only where AB is equal to 2 times E and CD is equal to 2 times F. And we create a point G such that AG is E and GB is E. And we create a point H so that CH and HD are also equal to F. So here we have our equations. We've done nothing fancy here. We've just defined our points where these lengths are equal to E, these lengths are equal to F. All right, now let's take the first segment, AG. We're going to take this segment right here. And we're going to take this segment right here. And we're going to add them together. And when we add them together, since AG and CH are both equal to E, it will be equal to A plus F. The next thing we're going to do is take the next segment. So this time we are going to take the second segment and we're going to add those together. So when we add those together and everything got erased, they are also equal to E plus F. Now this is an example where we're using two as the multiple. But imagine it is three or four or five. Because they're equal multiples, for every segment here, there will be a corresponding segment on the other line. This is almost the definition of equal multiple. And for each one of these, it's going to, if we add them together, it will be equal to E plus F. So if we carry on, let's add these all together. So AG plus CH plus GB plus HD is going to be twice E plus F. However, AG plus GB is equal to AB. CH plus HD is equal to CD. So AB plus CD is going to be equal to twice EF. 
and they started off as twice EF. So in more generic terms, again, for every segment here, there will be a segment here. And as we add these two segments together, that will be equal to one addition of the E and F. So no matter how big A, B, and C, D get, as long as they're equal multiples, we end up with this truth. If A, B is equal to N times E and C, D is equal to N times F, then A, B plus C, D is equal to N times E plus F, which I'm not 100% sure about the name, but I believe this is the inverse distributive law in basic algebra. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, there we have it, folks. This is the first proof. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.